listener of your show for about a year now, and uh, I need to bring the attention uh, program in the Army, and it works in all the services. This is really for the service members here. I submitted my paperwork for a conscientious objection uh, a couple months ago. I kind of see it as I need to be on the right side of this thing when they start taking guns away, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think uh, most people in the service don't even know this program exists, and nobody here did until I submitted the paperwork. So I think it's something people need to take into consideration if they fall into that category. You know what? Stay there. You know what? Skip this break. I know the outro is already going, but I got to hit some financial news, too. Let's just dump that. Network break. Net station should not cut play over this. Uh, in case your listeners out there, this this is a network break. Uh, now, now for folks, you know, you, obviously you're not going to violate the national security letters. But what do you make of the admission that the Federal Reserve has the Army spying on Ron Paul and Ron Paul at rallies, including rallies I've been at in Dallas and Houston, and that they now are taking a list of names of Americans that criticize them? That is confirmed. What do you make of that? A and B. What would make you? say that you have to be, become a conscientious objector because of gun confiscation coming up. Are you are you getting that intelligence? Uh, well, Alex, I mean, uh, a lot of people in the uh, Army aren't as involved in the intelligence community as you may think. So I wouldn't say it's the Army so much that's collecting on Ron Paul. That's more of like a FBI, CIA level thing. Uh, the Army, the thing about the gun confiscation is it's happened before. It happened to Katrina. You had Army walking the streets and taking guns. <clears throat> in fact, the uh, 82nd was down there. I am part of the 82nd. I wasn't around for that, but uh, I was not informed when I joined. But the thing is, is that... Uh, no, but you're you saying know, you're in an intelligence unit, and in case you missed it, sir, it's in Paul Watson's article today on this. The Army, that's what I'm telling you, the Army has been dispatched for three and a half years that we know of, and, and is, they do use Army... National Guard intelligence to watch in the fetters. Uh, that is confirmed. Okay, Alex. Uh, the thing is, it's very compartmentalized. The most you see uh, coming from that directly in other parts of the Army is you'll see just uh, advanced, uh, different training. You'll see training shift from uh, looking at things in Afghanistan and Iraq to all of a sudden we're looking at things in the area. So it's always very obscure when it comes down. It's Looking sure, you're collecting data for the brain bugs above you that assemble it. I mean, in a way, yes. But in a way, a lot of times it's very obscure. So it's kind of like uh, if Big Army wants to put on a lot of feelers, they might get a little something back from here and there. So nothing, I, I couldn't really elaborate on that so much, even if I did see something. But uh, it's, not, it's not really what a lot of people think when they think of Army intelligence. Uh, the Army intelligence, for the most part, doesn't go out and, and do that sort of work. Um, it's played up a lot. So, well, no, no. I mean, Army intelligence is mainly meant to spy on in the Fed rallies to create an intelligence, the idea that it's dirty, that, that the Ron Paul is so evil that the Army has to go out and collect data on him. You know, it's basically wargaming that this is your enemy. I understand that, and uh, and of course, of course, uh, they're they're ramping up things to deal with domestic terrorism, the white terrorists, all this. But those things don't reach far out of the the local place where they're happening uh, there at that time. Like I said, I wouldn't know much about that uh, as far away as I am from that event. No, I understand. They deliver the propaganda right down to the local specific area to to create the delusion uh, there, as it's uh, repeated around in a game of telephone. Yes, the conscientious objection thing, instead of just going AWOL or not following orders, you just conscientious object, and they pretty much have to let you out. Or they have hearings, correct? It, it is about hearings. There's two interviews and a hearing. There's an interview with the chaplain, and there's an interview with a uh, psychiatrist, and then you have a hearing with an investigative officer. Now, it's, it's a heck of a process, Alex, and, you know, I've had to do lots of paperwork. I've, uh, you know, I had to write a seven-page essay. I had to have reference letters. But uh, it seems like it's going well for me. I've done very well with my uh, chaplain. Well, what about uh, launching a Libya war without congressional approval? I mean, right there, right there, I mean, the, 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 the military should have refused to do that. It was illegal. I got to jump. I appreciate your call. I mean, it's illegal. And if you'll follow that illegal order, what's next? I mean, Bush, th those wars were bad, but he went and got, got congressional approval. Obama said, I don't need Congress, even when Congress said something. Folks, that's a big deal. 
Look at the super Congress over the spending bills now. That's totally unconstitutional. See, the bottom is dropping out, folks. Once you let them run over the Bill of Rights and Constitution and break the law, the sky's the stinking limit, and none of us are safe. Remember that. Corruption's cutesy for a while till you reach this point. It isn't so cutesy now. All right. You know what? I'm going to have to get Ted Anderson up uh, tomorrow, but I'm going to bring him up now, for, and we'll do five minutes of overdrive. And I, I got to a lot of the news. I didn't get to some of it, but I'll be back tonight, 7 o'clock Central. Please join us. We're putting a lot of time and energy into this, and it's, it, could be, it is a devastating attack on the globalists, but it'll be guaranteed to be more devastating if you get the word out, support PrisonPlanet.tv. I wanted to bring uh, Ted Anderson up here because we've seen gold and silver plunging in the last week. Uh, and they raise margins in Asia as well as here to where basically they've knocked all speculation out of it uh, so that speculation will go back into currencies and that manipulation. But the market fundamentals and now gold and silver have started to spike back up now. Gold and silver, though, the fundamentals are there's global devaluation. So they can pull these games, uh, but long term market fundamentals are it's only going to go up because the dollar is being devalued. Ted, briefly, uh, break down what's happening right now. Well, like you said, the CME is raising its margin requirements that happen in Asia. I mean, the, the global governments are doing everything they can, throwing their kitchen sink against this thing to try to make gold and silver come down. And they're having some su success here just at the moment. But I like that analogy where you say it's like holding a beach ball underwater. There is absolutely no way with the kind of world crises that we're dealing with. I mean, you listen to what's going on. Well, why is gold going down? Read Bloomberg. They're saying it's because there's a crisis going on in Europe right now, and therefore everything's getting sold off, and gold is a part of it. Yeah, That's this is part of the depressionary black hole, but on the other side of it, gold and silver will be sitting the best of any commodity. That's exactly right, Alex, and they're making it so much, you know, cost so much less, which is just exactly what people need. They need this break. This is the time that people can actually get in before this thing completely. Yeah, we've implodes. seen gold bounce back up some today, but especially silver. It went way down, had a big rebound. Yeah, it did. I mean, silver hit a low of 27.88 and then up again, well over $30 an ounce. I mean, right now, Walking Liberty Habs, for example, are trading right now at 15.65. They were 20 bucks here just a week ago. I mean, the, the, the bags of survival dimes are a great buy at this time. $20 gold pieces or US You know, Ted, pieces. you know when I buy. I buy when it dips like this. That's when you buy. But folks will be buying it in a few weeks when it goes back up, uh, uh, when you're selling it at the low price then. I mean, I really do believe in gold and silver and the fundamentals. And I've never sold the silver I bought at $5 or the gold I bought at $265. Uh, and I won't be selling now. I'll be buying 800-686-2237. Give Midas Resources a call. How much is the American dream now for the two silver dollars and the film and the book? I've dropped that $10 for the set. So it's $78 rather than $88. Again, we sold thousands of those at that higher price. Please take 77 That's the shipping, the book, the video, and Everything. the two silver dollars, $77, 800-686-2237, 800 686-237 or modestresources.com. Big banners up at infowars.com. We'll see you all back live tomorrow and tonight, 7 o'clock Central. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. You may be arrested and or subject to other police action. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror, and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at InfoWars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. All right.
right, we're back with Ted Anderson. Ted, what do you make of the Federal Reserve putting out the announcement that they're going to start spying on anybody and everybody that talks about them in the blogosphere because they're hemorrhaging all support? Uh, what do you make of that? Well, you know, that is... You know, what that is is it's just a uh, uh, indication as to how much control that they think that they have, and and how much support is going away from them. How much you know? How many people are pushing back against them? They're really frightened as to whether they'll lose power over the countries of the world. You know, they've had the uh, world currency status for so long, and now it's all falling apart on them. And, you know, it, as they're crashing and burning, they're doing what they can to try to push and prod. A lot well, yeah, of that's why the Swiss lowered their currency a few weeks ago. This is all an attempt to prop up the global currencies, and we've seen them do this to gold and silver before, but it only retraces back because of the market fundamentals. And that's why we've seen, we have seen talk, though, of trying to restrict gold trading, Ted. And that is a way the system could try to artificially hold it down. That's one of the few tricks they have left in their bag. Why, in the, at this time, when gold was already correcting, would they raise the reserve requirements at the CME in the Far East? And by the way, why are they raising it in another country? It, if the United States Federal Reserve System wants to manipulate the marketplace, you'd think they'd only have the ability to manipulate here in the United States. Obviously, this new world order, world government thing is for real because it's happening across the globe. And I can tell you, what they're doing is they're fighting for control. They they have a, a window of opportunity here where gold and silver started to correct, and they want to push it down further, so they're doing what they can. And raising the reserve requirements uh, up past 21% in order to do a trade in the futures market doubles the amount of money it takes in order to hold the same position. And so that's why you're seeing the correction right now. But you hit the nail right on the head, Alex. You can only manipulate the market for so long, and then the real market, the free market, will, will uh, prevail. And what we're seeing right now going on, uh, the meltdown in Europe and the meltdown, of course, in the United States and, and everywhere across the globe, it, we're going to see gold and silver return. And that's why I say this is one of those opportunities. It's exactly what the people need. They need to be able to buy gold and silver, and they need to be able to get more for their money. And this is what we want. I mean, seriously, they're in there trying to push down this beach ball under the water. Guess what? When it comes raging back, it's going to be like a stretched out rubber band, and it's going to fling back that much more in the other direction. Well, that's uh, what I was going to say, Ted, is that even if they come in, and we've seen some talk about this now, even in the mainstream war news, even if they come in and try to ban gold trading or something like they've done before, always two or three years later, when they take the restrictions off, it skyrockets above what it did before then. So the, and people say, well, they'll come confiscate it. At a certain point, you got to stop letting, you know, criminals come and say, give me your kids. You got to say no. Right. Government comes, says, I'm going to take your blood at a checkpoint. You got to say no. You, I mean, Nazis say, we're taking you to a death camp. You got to say no. Well, at a at certain least, point, you got to start saying no. At least they have to show up at your door to confiscate your wealth if you have gold and silver. If you have their paper currency, all they have to do is turn on the printing press and they're taking that's your right. wealth. That's right. They're already you. stealing your dollar value and your euro value. So that's why, and your yen and your yon value, so that's why they're coming in and trying to knock out gold and silver because it's an alternative competing real currency. So they're waging all-out war against it. And I expected this to happen earlier, but I saw J.P. Morgan say it was going to go to 2500 by Christmas. I saw all of this and thought, well, okay, I guess so. But as Europe melts down, they just can't let gold and silver do this. And what's weird is they've done this, as you know, three or four times the last three years, Ted, and so even as it goes back up, as it has in the past, I would expect it is, people will still say, yeah, but you saw it go down that time. Well, I can tell you right now, Alex, this is a little bit different because we have a lot of people interested in buying right now. It's really refreshing to see people getting involved when the market is lower like that. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing from Bob Chapman and others is that people really now get it. They understand the fundamentals. Well, folks, get gold and silver while it's lower right now, the best place. Patriot owned and operated. Midas Resources, 800-686-2237. Ted, thank you so much.
Contrary to the rumors that you've heard, I was not born in a manger. I was actually born on Krypton and sent here to save the planet Earth.